Laurent de Brunhoff, a French native, inherited the legacy of Bobworth the Elephant from his father, Jean de Brunhoff, who passed away when Laurent was just 12 years old. Jean had authored four Bobber books before his death, and Laurent continued the franchise, producing best-selling children's stories such as Bobber at the Circus and Bobber's Guide to Paris. Laurent moved to the United States from France in the 1980s and passed away at his home in Key West, Florida, reportedly due to complications from a stroke, as confirmed by his widow, Phyllis Rose. Phyllis Rose, who contributed to the text of the final Bobber books, was also Jean's wife. The initial concept of Babor, initially referred to as BB, baby, elephant, came from Jean's mother. She narrated a story about a baby elephant escaping to the city, which inspired Jean and Laurent. Jean altered the name to Babor and incorporated elements of the story into the first book, including the elephant's encounter with a hunter and subsequent journey to the city. After World War II, Laurent, who worked as a painter, took up the responsibility of continuing the Bobber series in honor of his father. The series gained widespread recognition, leading to adaptations into children's TV shows and films. The Bobber series concluded in 2017 with Bobber's Guide to Paris, marking the end of an era cherished by readers worldwide. Readers fondly reminisced about their experiences with the Bobber series, sharing tributes on social media. Users expressed gratitude for the cherished childhood memories the series provided, with many acknowledging the impact it had on their lives and the lives of their children. Tributes highlighted the enduring legacy of Babor and the significant role Laurent played in bringing joy and happiness to generations of readers. Some of the tributes include Wine Caroline expressed gratitude, stating that Laurent made their childhood, as well as their children's, better with Babor, thanking him with merci, Laurent de Brunhoff. Madame Olenska reflected on the happiness Babur brought to their childhood. Poppy McLean nostalgically recalled the fond memories of childhood prompted by Babur. Nicole Sharp fondly remembered her grandmother reading Babur to her, highlighting the intergenerational appeal of the series. Tech Trend Hub paid tribute to Lauren's storytelling legacy, suggesting that he has become a storyteller in heaven while Babur's tales continue to live on. Laurent de Brunhoff's contributions to children's literature through the Bobber series left an indelible mark, touching the hearts of readers worldwide and fostering cherished memories that endure across generations. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more updates on celebrity deaths and news updates.